So, anyway. I don't have a button. <laughs> I like this. Backlog! 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 All what? right, boys and girls. I wonder what the neighbors think of the backlog. <laughs> Guys, backlog time. What's uh, backlog, Will? The backlog is a segment of the Wolf Den podcast where we look at our video game collection, every game we've ever bought over almost 40 years of being on this godforsaken God planet. Uh, we've put into an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of everything, and today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. You're looking at number 339. 339, and that is... Mortal Kombat! Jesus fucking 11 Christ. for the Nintendo Switch. 11? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just hoping it was one. <laughs> one would have been good. 11 Wait, I have which, not played Which at Mortal all. Kombat 1 are we talking about here? Because now there's, oh, there's now two. Now there's like fucking seven. No. Yeah. <laughs> Mortal, no Kombat Mortal Kombat 11. 11 which you played which and I you played bought on for the, the Switch. Switch. Yes. Which is the worst version. It's the worst version, but it's still a good version. So to back up, I've been a fan of the way NetherRealm has rebooted Mortal Kombat and like uh, revamped it since the 2011 Mortal Kombat. Okay. That game is excellent. Um, Mortal Kombat X, the follow up, was also really good. So I was excited for Mortal Kombat 11 going into it. And I was even more excited that it was going to be on the Switch because now I can play Mortal Kombat on the toilet. And that's the best way to that's play That's the games. best way to play it. I didn't play it on the toilet. I actually played it, uh, I think it was on a family trip to Vegas. I played it going and coming on the plane. I managed to beat the whole game. <laughs> going uh, and coming. Going and coming. Also the best way to play yeah. video games. Yes. Um, so, Mortal Kombat 11. It's the third in this uh, current timeline of Mortal Kombat games. Um, if you played a Mortal Kombat game, you're going to be very familiar with how this works. Um beat the shit out of somebody with special moves in the most gloriously violent way possible. Uh, for the Switch version, people are like, why is it on the Switch? Um, there's no way this is going to be as good as it is on the other systems. I am here to tell you that even though the game significantly looks like butt, it plays perfectly. It yeah. runs at 60 frames per second during combat. There's no lag in the actual what's, fights. What's this 3D part? That I believe is the crypt. So in all in the recent Mortal Kombat games, there was the crypt where you get to go into like this. It's like a hub world. Hub world, not really a hub world, more like a, a separate section of the game where you can like, you know, uh, look at like bonus content, uh, different costumes, concept art, and whatnot. Um, and at launch, that looks even worse because there was like a lot of fog and you couldn't see it. I think they fixed it since then. Um, but I didn't really spend much time in there. I mostly spent my time like actually playing the game, playing the story mode of it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like first the Switch, it, it plays just as well as the other version. Yeah, like this, the crypt, as you can see in that video clip, there was, there's just fog. Like between yeah, you can't, the, yeah, you see, can't anything. see anything, even though it's the same spot. But that's that's one thing I was really interested in about this yeah. game is that uh, it it does look bad, and there were a lot of memes about how bad it looks and all the graphical glitches and whatnot. But it's a highly competitive game. Yeah, it just needs to feel the same across all platforms. And for my money, it does. I played yeah. the game exclusively in portable mode, and. Like it, it ran perfectly fine, and that gives hope for other competitive games, yes. other, other games that aren't on the Switch for similar reasons. Well, like, it gave hope, and then they released uh, Mortal Kombat One last year, the most recent version, and that game not only looked like butt, but it didn't run at all. Yeah. So yeah. they kind of screwed the pooch on that one, which that is disappointing because Mortal Kombat Eleven works so well. Um, I do like. I mean, like is a strong word because they're not really good, good stories, but I do enjoy the story modes in these games because they are like fun, interesting, like deep dives into like, you know, the Mortal Kombat lore and stuff. Yeah. And I know a lot of people like genuinely liked the Mortal Kombat 11 story. I did not. And I'll explain <laughs> why. Because 
so Mortal Kombat 2011 was like the reboot. It was like the Star Trek 2009 where like they went back in time to like try to fix the timeline but wound up creating like a new alternate timeline. And that was called Mortal Kombat? That was just called Mortal Kombat. Okay. Yes. Fuck. Yes, I know. Um, but that was a good game. Uh, and I like that storyline the best. Then there was Mortal Kombat X, which pretty much Force Awakens everything. So there's a time jump. And like you're dealing with the old characters, but also the next generation of characters. So you have Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade's kid, Jax's kid, uh, Kung Lao's like nephew and stuff, all dealing with the next threat of Outworld. And that was also really cool and introduced this whole new set of characters that I actually really enjoyed playing as. Mortal Kombat 11 just brings back the original lineup and tries to like make time travel a big part of it even though that's what they did in mortal kombat 2011 and it winds up having this like weird story where like the past two games didn't really matter and so they're basically starting over again in the closer of the trilogy so to speak <clears throat> and it's so just, this is a trilogy so it's one x and 11 it's 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 so, it's zero it fuck no no it gets worse because <laughs> Uh, people don't just call it Mortal Kombat 2011. They also call it Mortal Kombat 9 because it's the yes. ninth game in the series. Well, that... 9 because it's the ninth game in the series. Yeah. Okay. That is what it should be called. That's what it should be Mortal called. Mortal Kombat 9. Yeah. Because you have 9, yeah. and you have X, X which is 10, and yeah. then 11. Yes. And then 1... 1... Mortal Kombat 1 is the is the direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 11 because at the end of Mortal Kombat 11, spoiler alert, Liu Kang becomes the fire god and resets the timeline again. Okay. Completely starting from scratch. Okay. So. So there are three Mortal Kombat ones. Yes. Like It's like Xbox One. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking terrible. It is terrible. Um, um, but the gameplay is very enjoyable. I'm seeing in this uh IGN review that there's a network error every five seconds. Mm -hmm. Is that what is that about? I think at launch the network uh connection like online play was not very good. I believe it has been fixed since well, then. It it looked like they were running into network errors before without even being on the network. Like like without doing multiplayer stuff. Like it looked like it was just imposing on the menus. I mean, I played this game on a plane. Okay. And didn't really have any How far any after launch did you play it? Not that far after launch. Okay. All right, maybe I, don't I know, know I know a lot of, like Mortal Kombat X did the same maybe thing. Maybe they fixed it for you. Maybe, maybe playing on airplane mode. Maybe. I do know that like starting with Mortal Kombat X there was a big focus on like online components. Like there were, you know, challenge towers that you didn't directly compete in and stuff. There was um, a big push for like DLC and microtransactions and keeping the game alive through like online means uh, where like even if you weren't, if you were just playing the single player, it would still upload your data to like see where you ranked amongst everyone else and how everyone else was playing. So, like, the recent spat of Mortal Kombat games have had a big online focus, even if you're not focused on, like, what is going on online. And that's yeah. honestly been a big problem because it actually prevents you from playing the game the way you traditionally want to play a Mortal Kombat game, which is just jump in and get to fighting. I like some of these fighting games when you pick a character and you do, like, the campaign for that one character. Right. And it's, like, 20 minutes long. <laughs> and you just beat up a bunch of guys, and then you get, like, their ending, and then you have to play other people. And yeah, and their you still do that in Mortal Kombat. The way they've been doing it, which the way I actually like, is um, it goes in chapters, and each chapter is one character's perspective of yeah. the story. That's cool, too. They, they, and, I, yeah, and I you, remember that from uh, the DC... Uh, fighting games yeah in, in yeah. justice games yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the same setup and that works really well too because it's it's one story told over time from multiple different perspectives and it, it gives you a chance to play as not everyone but almost everyone mm -hmm. and lets you see like how they play and like maybe you can pick a favorite character from there to then play in like you know the multiplayer and tournament mode yeah. and things like that but yeah so I remember you really liking this game. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do like, despite my troubles with like the story mode and like, you know, the online stuff, it's a very good game. And I would definitely recommend it to people who like who want to play a Mortal Kombat game. I don't necessarily think it's the best of the modern Mortal Kombat. I still think that's 2011. 
Wow. Keep in mind, I have not played Mortal Kombat one yet. Um, but this is like this is a very I good. I've heard fun good things game. about one. Neither have I. Yeah. So, and I'm not looking forward to playing it. Um, but if you do like, this is always on sale, even on the Switch. Um, and it, there's a there's a download there's a downloadable content for it with an additional story chapter where you play as Shang Tsung, and Shang Tsung. This is the best part. He's played by the guy who played him in the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie. Oh my god! Yeah, and he does the whole thing. He still got it. <laughs> uh, the game is ten bucks. Yeah, was fifty. Yeah, it's ten bucks on the Switch. Uh, I don't know why it's telling me I need to give my birthday. <laughs> uh, on Steam, it is a full fifty. Damn! And there's bundles that go all the way up to a hundred dollars. Yeah, you can buy it with Injustice too. Why would I do that? In case you want to also play Injustice 2. Injustice 2 is also very good. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Carrie, right, 10 bucks, I think, worth it. Yeah. Uh, Kari uh, Hiroyuki Tagawa is Shang Tsung. He played him in the original Mortal Kombat movie, and he plays him again, young and old, in this game. I will say, when he he does the, he points to the camera and goes, your soul is mine. He still got it. <laughs> it still gives me goosebumps. It still works really well. The game had a lot of fun DLC characters. Uh, Spawn was one of the characters. That's why McFarlane oh, Toys yeah. made all the action figures. Um, the Ninja Turtles. No, that's Injustice. Fuck. This had Terminator, not voiced by Schwarzenegger. Rambo, voiced by Stallone. Robocop, oh voiced by Peter Weller. So, oh my god. And of course, other characters from Mortal Kombat history. But who gives a shit about them? And the whole gimmick is the gore and stuff. Yeah, it goes into like bullet time, and you yeah. see like people's heads explode and stuff. Yeah, it it. Like I'm not one of those people who gets like squirmish with gore and stuff. It's just too much. It, yeah, like, it maybe we're just point. old now, but it's just too it, much. No, because like, because what happens is, you you have a standard match, and moves that occur during the match would have been a fatality in the last game, and like it just it desensitizes you to like the impact of what the yeah. violence should have. That by the time you actually get to the fatalities, they have to be so outlandish and cartoonish and over the top. It's not like effective anymore. If anything, it's just it's just funny. And like yeah. it really shouldn't be funny. It should be like like it should horrifying. be the it should be the yeah. end. The the it ending. should be the yeah. end. Yeah. 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 But I don't know. All right. So uh recommend. Yes, uh, do recommend for ten it, bucks. I mean, why not? ten bucks? Yeah, and look, you can play it on everything if you have a Switch. Play it on the Switch because it works. And well, it works it's really well. Fifty dollars on everything else, only <laughs> ten on yeah. fucking Switch. So try that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching the backlog. Yes, thank you for watching the backlog. Come to a podcast sometime though, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.